All right, good morning YouTube, Bob KK4DIV here and uh, today we're going down to the uh, Panama City Amateur Radio Club uh, Clubhouse and uh, we've got a little planning uh, meeting for uh, the upcoming year for Aries uh, Amateur Radio Emergency Services uh, for the Bay County group here. And I uh, brought a little bit of my equipment. I'm going to bring my uh, uh, go kit for packet and uh, little antenna. I just kind of threw uh, an antenna system together real quick here at the house just to see uh, see if it works and uh, and all of that. So stay tuned, folks. As we get down here, we're going to break it all out and before the meeting, we're going to give it a try. See if we can't get back into the house here and uh, maybe send a message over uh, uh, wind link uh, through a two meter packet. All right, thanks. Stay tuned. down here at the clubhouse and we're going to get uh, this packet station set up so uh, let's see what we can do with this. Alright we have the uh, it's a little Yagi antenna there. Uh, pointing somewhat towards my house on a 10-foot painter's pole. Here we have the uh, radio and my packet station here. Uh, it's a PK-96 and the ID-880 um, ICOM D-Star radio. Got my battery box there with the 20-amp-hour uh, uh, lithium iron phosphate bioeno battery and that battery box is from uh, powerworks it's a pretty neat little power battery box there and we've got windows starting up right here so uh, we just threw this antenna system together I'm not sure how well this is going to work number one it's an aluminum painters pole and I'm just uh, concerned that it may interfere with the uh, the Yagi antenna. Probably not the best situation there, but uh, like I said, I just threw it together real quick. And we have it held in the ground here by, that's one of those uh, umbrella stands that I use for uh, portable operating to hold up a little mast. So uh, that's working really well holding that painter's pole up in the air. And once we get the Windows Station, uh, Windows computer booted up here, we are got the welcome screen going. Probably can't see it because of the glare. Uh, we're going to try to tr connect to my remote packet station. And we're going to be doing, uh, um, trying to do some uh, Winlink message. Uh, we'll probably just send it to myself and see how well that works out. But... Uh, also in this go box I have a, a um, power supply so if I ever want to hook up to shore power you know I can do that and run off of that as well but uh, it's nice to have this battery box here for uh, portable work emergency work um, that sort of thing and uh, it's really lightweight with that lithium iron phosphate battery sounds like my computer's booted up so we are booted up and let's see what we can do. All right, Winlink is booting up. And let's make sure my connections are good. Those weren't screwed in. I don't know if y'all can see that. Of course, there's that giant glare. So we're hit start. Unable to open COM3. Okay. So which COM port am I on? Control panel. So that's the thing with these uh, USB to serial adapters. You plug it into a different port. 
suddenly your COM port is changed. So let's go to hardware and sound. That's what I need. And we need device manager. And we can go and see what our ports are. This is an old computer, so it's not super fast. It is on COM3. Okay. So why couldn't it work? Alright, well, let's try it again. I need high power. Yeah, we want to go with high power. Okay, there we go. There it goes. All right, so we are connecting. Awesome. So we sent one message, probably a response to W9NDN, uh, since he had sent me a message with a read receipt request. Hello, Matt. Message received. Looks like everything is working on your end. Sorry for the delay response. I have not checked my Winlink account in a few weeks. Guess I should look at it more <laughs> often. 73. Bob KK4 DIV. And we're going to post to Outbox. And now we are going to reconnect and send. Start. Good signal. Couldn't ask for anything better. Perfect. And we are disconnected. Well, all right, folks, it looked like everything worked there just fine. Uh, no problems, even the uh, antenna on top of that uh, aluminum painter's pole seemed to work out very well and uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, the packets coming in, uh, the audio sounded great. I didn't hear any static in the audio. So I would say uh, a station like this to get uh, Oh, I'd say it's probably about five to seven miles as the crow flies from here to the house. No problems. No problems with this portable packet station uh, getting there from here. So uh, I'd say this test is a success and uh, we're going to get everything packed up and uh, head in here and uh, participate in this Aries planning meeting. So uh, again, thanks everybody for watching. I do appreciate you tuning into my videos. Remember, subscribe to this channel if you like what you see and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, more videos coming soon. I've had a lot of requests for different things. Uh, um, some uh, follow-up videos on some uh, of my prior um, stuff that I posted uh, with satellite antennas and uh, setting up that uh, home bulletin board software. Uh, I had some requests on that as well. So uh, we'll be getting it together, guys. Sorry, it's uh, I'm just, you know, uh, sometimes I'm just not motivated to make videos, and I hope you understand, but uh, we'll get them together. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate y'all reaching out to me through the comments section and asking me to do that. And uh, I'll certainly, uh, I'm listening, guys, and I'm going to certainly get that together for you. So, 73, everybody. Until next time, this is Bob, KK4DIV. We'll see you later.